Let's do an example of the Cuban motion in the salsa dance directions to the side. Now, doing a side drop is quite easy. You put the weight to the side, bring it back to the middle and close the feet. Put the weight to the side, bring it back to the middle and close the feet. But as you see, my entire body is swaying over to the one side and then swaying back to the middle. There's absolutely no dance feeling to that. So you need to bring the Cuban motion in to make it feel like a salsa. So when you're going to step sideways, you want to isolate your upper body from your lower body. In other words, you want to keep this part as still as you possibly can while the bottom part is moving like crazy. So now we're going to do a side rock. But as you step sideways, this leg is the one with all the weight. So you're going to step down into the floor as you bend this leg and then swap to put the weight on the side and then as you're swapping that leg is locking. Now I'm doing the side and then I need to bring it back to complete the rock step and close the feet. I'm going to do it again. Instead of going side rock, I want you to do side rock. So it's completely hip action that causes your lower body to move while your upper body stays still. Now let's go to the other side. Step down into the floor, roll the hip, bending this knee and then bring it back. Roll the hip towards the back, bend this knee, then roll this hip as you bring it back in. It's important that you don't do this with completely bent knees all the time. If your knee is bent, it absorbs the shock that goes through your leg and you want the shock to go up into the hip. That is the reason why you need to lock those knees in order to pop the hip. Like I've just shown, if the knees are bent, the hips aren't going to move much. But the moment that you lock the one knee and bend the other knee, then the hips start moving in the Cuban motion direction. Now, another tip that's very important is you want to loosen up the hips, not the glutes. So be sure when you're doing your Cuban motion that you don't turn pushing out the bum. If you're facing forward, your bum needs to face backwards and it's the hips that are doing the rolling work, not the bum. So don't let your pelvis twist. Keep it facing forward and simply roll in the hips. 